Good morning, friends. This is G.B. Shokmar again, and today I like to discuss about Trinity College in Dublin, the College of Holy and Undivided Trinity of Queen Elizabeth near Dublin. is the sole constant college of University of Dublin, a research university in Dublin, Ireland. Queen Elizabeth first issued a royal charter for the college in 1592 as the mother of the university that was modeled after the co co collegiate co universities of both Oxford and Cambridge. But unlike these affiliated institutions, only one college was ever established as such the designations Trinity College and University of Dublin are usually synonymous for the administrative purpose. The Trinity is Ireland's oldest university with a reputation as a research intensive centre. Academically, it is divided into three facilities comprising 23 schools offering degree and diploma courses at both undergraduate and postgraduate levels. The admission procedure is based exclusively on academic merit, with the college being known for programmes in law, literature and humanities. Trinity College Dublin is one of the seven ancient universities of Great Britain and Ireland and is a sister college of both St. John's College Cambridge and Oriel College Oxford. By incorporation, uh, a graduate of Dublin, Oxford or Cambridge can be conferred the equivalent degree at either of uh, the other two without further examination. Besides currently and historically, Trinity has been ranked by the various studies among the uh, 100 best universities worldwide. The Library of Trinity College is a legal deposit for the Ireland and the United Kingdom, being the largest library in the country and the housing book uh, of Kells since 1661. The university has educated many Ireland's most successful poets, playwrights and authors, including Arthur Wilde, Jonathan Swift, Dan Stoker, uh, the, the author of Dragula, that novel, and the Sheridan Lufano, William Trevor and John Millington Snage, Oliver Goldsmith, Thomas Moore and William Congreve, Con Con Nobel uh, Literate, Samuel Beckett, Ernest Walton, Myred Ma Magier and William Cecil Campbell, former presidents of Ireland, Douglas Hyde, Eman D. Valiva, Mary Robinson and Mary McClessy, and philosophers George Beffy and Edmund Burke as well as the mathematicians George Solomon, Robert Mallet and uh, Barth Bartholomew Lloyd and John Johnstone uh, Stoney and William Ron, Ron Hamilton. Notable figure faculty members and lecturers at the university include Humphrey Lloyd, J.B. Barry, Erwin uh, Scholliner and E.T. Whittaker. And uh, history, when coming to history, yeah, a uh, medieval university of the Dublin was founded in 1320 under the papal brief issued by the Pope Clement in 1311 and the university maintained an in, uh, intermittent existence at the St. Patrick Cathedral over the following centuries but it did not flourish and finally came to an end at the uh, reformation after that and some debate about a new university at St. Patrick's Cathedral. In 1592, a small group of Dublin citizens obtained a charter uh, by the way of letter, letters patterns from the Queen Elizabeth. Uh, so, incorporating Trinity College at the former University of uh, disbanded Augustine priority of all hallows. Uh, immediately, southeast of city was provided with the Corporation of Dublin. The college first provost was uh, uh, Archbishop uh, of uh, Dublin, Adam Lofus, after whose former college at the Cambridge the institution was named. And he was provided with the two initial fellows, James Hamilton and James Fulton. Fal two years uh, after foundation, the new fellows and the students began to work in a new college, which um, then lay around one small square. During the 50 years of following, of the following foundation, uh, the community increased the uh, endowments, considerable landed estates were secured and new fellowships were founded. The books were, uh, which formed the foundation of the great library were acquired. A curriculum was devised and sta statues were framed. And uh, the Trinity was set up in the party of consolidate uh, the rule of the Tudor monarchy in Ireland. It was a Result was a University of uh, uh, Protestants uh, ascend, Ascendancy 
for much of the history while catholics were admitted from the college foundation for the period graduation required taking the an oath that was objectionable to them in uh, 1793 this requirement was removed but certain restrictions on membership of the college demanded a professorship fellowship or scholarship were reserved for the protestants and in late 18th and 19th centuries uh, so the trinity college was seen as a university of protestant ascendancy uh, the parliament of ireland meeting on the other side of the college green made generous grants for building the first building of this period was the old library began in 1712 followed by the printing house and the uh, dining hall during the second half of the century the parliament square slowly emerged the great building drive was completed in the early 19th century by the botany bay the square which derives uh, its name is in a part from the herb garden uh it's once a uh, contained and which was succeeded by the trinity college own botanic garden and in 19th century was also marked by an important developments in the professional schools the law school was reorganized after the middle of the century medical teaching has been given in the college since 1711 but it was only after the establishment of school on form on form basis by legalization in 1800 and under the inspiration of one uh, Mac, uh, mccartney then uh, that it was in a position to play its full part uh, with the such teachers and graves and strokes in the great age of dublin medicine the engineering school was established in 1842 and uh, was one of the first of its kind in ireland but and we have uh, business schools also right and uh, while catholics were uh, officially admitted from the uh, from the foundation graduation was complicated with the requirements of vote following the early steps in the catholic uh, emancipation these votes were removed allowing catholics to graduate in 1793 before the equivalent change at the university of cambridge and the university of oxford certain disabilities remained in uh, remained right and in december 1845 uh, denis uh, callfield heron was a subject of hearing at the trinity college he had pre- he had previously been examined on, and on merit declared a scholar of the college but not had been allowed to take up his place due to his catholic region heron appealed to the courts which issued a writ of ma- manmas requiring the ca- the case of uh, uh, adjudi- adjudicated by the archbishop of dublin and the prime uh, prim- primate of ireland the decision of richard uh, uh, wakley and john and john george de, uh, de la poire borsfield uh was a uh, was that heron would remain a student from the scholarship the decision confirmed the person who were not uh, anglians uh could not be elected uh, to the scholarship or fellowship or to be made a professor but within the three decades of this all the disabilities imposed on the catholics were repealed uh in 1873 all the religious tests except for this relating to the entry of the divinity school were abolished Uh, uh, by an uh, act of parliament so it's a it's having a long actually uh, i can say actually history and in 21st century trinity college is today in the center of dublin at the beginning of the new century it embarked on the radical overhaul of academic uh, structures to reallocate funds and re- and re- reduce the administration cost resulting uh, in for instance uh, reduction uh, from 6 to 5 to eventually 3 fa- faculties under the subsequent restructuring the 10 year strategic plan priorities for prioritizes four research themes which which uh, seek the college to compete for funding at the global level comparative uh, comparative funding uh, statistics reviewing uh, the difference in department uh, departmental unit cost and the overall cost before and after this restructuring and not apparent and only the one important thing actually uh, getting a seat in the i mean actually this trinity college is a great prestigious thing so the main campus of trinity college uh, uh, retains a tranquil collegiate atmosphere uh, despite its location in the center of the capital city and despite it being one of the dublin's uh, most prominent tourist attractions this is in law is in large part due to the enclosed and uh, compact design of the college which main building looking inwards not be arranged the uh, quadrangles called the squares and the uh, existence of only few uh, public entrances in addition to the core campus trinity was uh, owns a number of building nearby the central dublin as well as the enterprise center near rings and and the botanic garden in 
dirty and so the the main campus is uh, approximately uh, 190000 uh, meter square 47 acres roughly including the trinity college enterprise uh, the enterprise center from distance away and buildings provide around uh, 2 lakhs meter square or floor space ranging from over older architecture to modern buildings the college main entrance is on the college green and is ground or bounded by the Nassau Street and the Perry Street. The college is bisected by the College Park, which has uh, both cricket and rugby, uh, rugby pitch. It was very beautiful actually when you visit uh, uh, Trinity. I have visited uh, Trinity uh, College. It was very beautiful. Thanks, friends. Good morning, friends. This is G.B. Shokmar again. And today I like to discuss about Trinity College in Dublin. The College of Holy and Antivated Trinity of Queen Elizabeth near Dublin is the sole constituent college of University of Dublin, a research university in Dublin, Ireland. Queen Elizabeth first issued a royal charter for the college in 1592 as the mother of the university that was modeled after the collegiate universities of both Oxford and Cambridge. But unlike this, affiliated institutions. Only one college was ever established as such the designations Trinity College and University of Dublin are usually synonymous for the administrative purpose. The Trinity is Ireland's oldest university with a reputation as a research intensive centre. Academically, it is divided into three facilities comprising 23 schools offering degree and diploma courses as both undergraduate and postgraduate levels. The admission procedure is based exclusively on academic merit, with the college being known for programs in law, literature and humanities. Trinity College Dublin is one of the seven ancient universities of Great Britain.